Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Generative AI training videos on anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning about basics of SAP Generative AI. Before we implement the real-time Generative AI use cases, we are covering introduction to machine learning, deep learning and natural language processing. In the last episode, we covered about what is natural language processing. In today's session, I will show you a real-time use case which was implemented in our training journey with NLP and deployed on SAP BTP with a chatbot. Now, first I will explain you what is the use case we have targeted and then I will show you executing the use case on deployed application on BTP as a demo so that you will get an idea of what is that we are going to cover in our end-to-end -end training on SAP Generative AI with anubavtrainings.com. So without wasting further time, let's get started. Now in today's episode, we are going to proceed further and implement a real-time use case for this NLP in our practical company scenario. So I have also summarized here all the steps which we performed here in the Python for our computation and calculation over here in this case. So you can also just have a look at it. Okay, now let's understand our practical requirement. So Anubav Trainings chatbot. Anubav Training is a platform based out of India to help learners finding the best suitable upskilling courses. A learner goes to our website inquiring about a course. We would like to help her or help him to their query and resolve their query quickly and guide them on the right module and the demo content. Yes, when it comes to Anubav trainings. So now the problem is my staff is only working in India time work time zone, right? So, but we have customers from Europe, from US, from Netherlands, Norway, yes, from different, different countries. And it is available on internet 24 by 7. So when a learner comes to our website, they would want to get the information about a course immediately. They don't want to wait for sending an email and getting a reply. So what we can do, we can design a simple chatbot for them. Now this chatbot will help them actually to get answers, basic answers quickly. So student ask relevant questions on our website and then our chatbot will respond. So let me first show you the demo of what we implemented already using NLP on our actual website. And then I will show you how did my team of engineers have actually built this chatbot practically with NLP. So that's a very practical use case. In fact, we are not just uh, helping you to learn AI, but we are also helping you to actually uh, see the, the implementation. Plus, how did we ourselves implemented these use cases in our own organization? So let me go back to anubavtrainings.com, our official website. And the moment you go there, on the left you see, you get a beautiful lady which is saying hello and I can help you the answers of most important questions. So you can see, welcome to our website. How are you? Basic greetings. And then I'll say hello. So what happens actually? I can start interacting with this chatbot and this will then find me the relevant answers yes this is what exactly what it is going to do for us so i will just go back and start typing my queries so i can say hello and you see it re respond back with hello i would like to uh, inquire on sap uh, btp training yes so when i do that there is this btp word right that is my entity so you see it finds the most similar answer and it returns back with the demo video to the student wow nice so uh, what is the the fee so you see again it finds the most similar answer and it asked me uh, uh, yeah we will send you the details please share your email id or i want to know uh, sap build training so then you can see it finds the most suitable answers for this question so every every prompt every question have a suitable answer now this is not chat gpt this is not where i am building a story the, the use case is completely different the use case is to provide a customer service so for different different use cases you will use different different ai based technologies and ai based uh, you know uh, algorithms so for this kind of a use case perhaps it is suffice enough to implement with nlp you probably don't want to go uh, you know 
uh, an agentic AI or AI agent or something like that. It's very simple because user ask you a question and you just supposed to uh, reply the answer. Yeah. So what about my Anubhav trainings uh, crypto token? Yes. So when you answer, you you will get an answer that oh uh, these are the most similar answers I can I can I can think of. Can I make crypto payments? So it will give you then you see our Anubo Trainings crypto token. So then it shows you this the 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 website and you can see the price of our crypto token also on the blockchain. So this is how exactly you will be able to implement the exact use case I will show you implementing in the system. And how did we do that? So first of all we have to train our model we have to have a training so we have to train our model and create a nlp model using all the techniques which i taught you like uh, lemmatization stemming yes tokenization vectorization and then once you have the complete tf idf matrix then once user ask a question you just check a cosine similarity and prompt the most relevant answer to the user so now what we have done is we have created a chatbot application using natural language processing nlp where we created actually the first we use our test data and using our test data we train our model so it's basically a anubhav trainings chatbot when a learner goes to our website they will ask a couple of questions about learning on different sap technologies like a bap and hana ui5 fiori launchpad btp capm rap build and then our chatbot has to reply back because my staff doesn't work all the time 24 by 7 so we will have a chatbot on our website which is going to respond back to the student on their queries on courses so to be able to achieve that we implemented first the nlp so where we first uh, utilize our data set through this excel file upload this data set with question and answers then what we did is we did the the vectorization so first we did tokenization we have done all the uh, stemming all the tokenization lemmatization and then we have done feature engineering to convert uh, my tokens into the into the vector matrix using tfidf so we got the final matrix and that is my embedding so once the embeddings are created we then call the user question and based on the user question we find the cosine similarity and whichever question is very similar to the question user ask we uh, find the index of the answer and we reply back to the user so this is what exactly we are doing and we have developed a application as well as a service and deployed it on sap btp platform so let me show you the final demo this is the anubhav training bot which is created and if i go back and ask a question let's say i want to learn about on hana and then i ask a question so it makes a call to our web api and that will do all the nlp and wahala it re reply back with the most similar answer for the abap on hana demo if i ask sap btp capm then it will just go ahead and ask the question to the chatbot find the similarity and then it returns back the most suitable and appropriate answers if i probably ask it uh, are you a chatbot again it finds the similarity and it uh, ironically replies back lol uh, you are smart to figure it out thanks for tracing me please share your feedback how am i doing am i doing a good job or not nice so this is how exactly you can design and develop a end-to-end -end nlp application with that thank you so much for watching this video with me today if you feel this content is helping you kindly subscribe and share this channel in the whatsapp group of your company teams and i hope to see you in my next episode happy learning till then goodbye and see you again